There are some people who don't like a nice, rich dessert, but I think it's fair to say they're a minority. <laughs> We're back in the 207 Kitchen at Main Studios with Matt Dooley from the Salt Yard Cafe at the Canopy Hotel in Portland, making a really nice dessert. What do you got for us here? So this is going to be a chocolate chess pie. Um, it's a pie that's derived from the South, and I married a, a Southern gal, so I have to, you know, well, you've got the best of both worlds because you grew up in Maine, you've married a southern That's right. gal, and so you've got, the, you've got the best from both cuisines. That's right. What have you got started here? So right now I have the chocolate and the butter melting over a double boiler. Mm -hmm. You just want those to get nice and uh, melted and not to have any chocolate chunks still what, remaining. What kind of chocolate do you use? This is uh, bittersweet chocolate because there is a decent amount of sugar. This is basically uh, like a pecan pie filling minus the nuts. So. You want to make sure that it's a nice bitter chocolate so you're not adding any extra sugar. Got it. We've pre-rolled a pie crust. You're just going to want to get that pie crust mm -hmm. in your pan. This recipe does call for blind baking your crust. So you're going to want to get that in there. So then you would just want to get parchment paper. You can use aluminum foil, um, just something to cover the crust that's mm -hmm. not going to stick. And then we like to use just beans because they're fairly cheap and every main pantry probably has beans in it. Right. And you just pour those right in there. And then you want to bake this for about 15 minutes. Okay. And then you're going to remove the parchment and then it gets five more minutes just to set the bottom. So it looks like this chocolate and butter is actually melted quite nicely together. Yeah. So we'll turn this off. And I like to cool it down with the sugar before adding the eggs, just so that you don't scramble the eggs as you put them in. Understood. Um, and there is quite a bit of sugar in here. Yeah, got a lot of heat. Yes. So you need a lot of sugar. A lot of sugar. Now we can go ahead and crack these eggs in here. And then we'll go ahead and add the milk. And there's really no, no exact way to, to add these ingredients. They just all just get dumped right in. Just get them in there. Just get and them in stirring. there. And keep stirring. And keep stirring, yeah. So you want to stir this for about five minutes. We're not going to do that today, um, but that's you know that's about how long it'll take. You can use an electric mixer if you if you prefer. So you want it to be really fine. You don't want to have any little lumps in there. Correct. Yep. You want it to be nice and smooth. And then once you get it to a point that you like, you would just pour it right in this pie shell. If you're using a, a pan this deep, you're probably going to want to lower your temperature to more like 300 degrees. Um, but for the standard recipe, 350 is just fine. Okay, and for how long? Um, it's going to take about 35 to 45 minutes. Um, it is a derivative of a custard pie, so there is going to be a little jiggle to it still. Um, then, you know, you let it cool to room temp, and they recommend that you refrigerate it at least for two hours to let that chocolate really set. Okay. And, and kind of reharden a touch. So this would go right in the oven. Right. And because of all that sugar, it does develop a nice crust. It's kind of like if you baked a brownie in a pie shell. So which is a beautiful which thing. Which is a beautiful thing. <laughs> it's the best of both desserts, right? And it's, it's not as rich as you'd think um, with all that sugar. It just it doesn't eat as rich as the recipe makes it seem. That surprises me a little because I've had chess pie yeah. in the South <clears throat> pretty rich. Not that I was complaining. Maybe I just like chocolate a lot. And nice little dollop of whipped cream. And then just to add some brightness, some fresh orange zest over the top. And that'll cut a little bit of that sweetness as well by adding some subtle acidity. Right. And there's the chest pie with whipped cream and orange zest. How is that for a special dessert? You will find the recipe on our website. Go to newcentermaine.com slash 207, the website or the app. You'll find the recipe for the chocolate chest pie. You'll find more information about the Salt Yard Cafe at the Canopy Hotel, where Matt is the chef. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It looks really good. Stick around. Back with more in a moment.